everybody, Bob here and welcome to another Making Stuff video. This video is an update on the digital caliper project and where I'm at with the filament extruder. Okay, so here's my setup. I'm using this digital caliper. This is the Pittsburgh brand. This is what you get at Harbor Freight. This is the caliper you want to use for the filament extruder. And I'll go over that in a minute. I've got an Arduino Nano. I've got an A4988 stepper, and I've got the stepper motor, which is going to simulate the puller rollers that's going to pull the filament uh, through the extruder. It's really hard to demonstrate this, so what I've done is I've overly exaggerated the speed of the motor, and hopefully you can hear it. It's easier to hear it change speeds than it is to see it change speeds. And let me go over this start this up okay now there's a pit algorithm running on the nano along with my uh, caliper code so it's reading these calipers and the pit algorithm it's proportional so if this size changes slowly it's going to slowly speed up or slow down the motor if the size changes quickly it's going to speed up and slow down the motor quickly. And the whole idea of the pit algorithm is to narrow it in and hone in on that target size, which I have it programmed for 1.75 millimeters. Now, you can hear the motor running, and it's running all the way at, at its low end. And that's because you can see here on the readout, it's zero millimeters. So, as I increase the size, you can hear it speed up. So it jumped from zero to two millimeters, so it did a really quick jump there. So now I'm gonna slowly narrow it. You can hear it slowing down, because I'm at 173. Then I'm gonna go to the extremes here and so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna change it really a lot really fast. Seeing it sped up a lot. Now I'm going to change it a lot really fast again, but I'm going to go small. So, it's it, like I said, it's real hard to demonstrate this because if you once you get the filament closely dialed in, it's just going to change minute amounts, which you can hear it change. But anyway, so that's that's that. Now, I'm going to turn this off. I said you want to use these calipers, and here's why. When these calipers are off, they continue to send the value out the data in the clock pin. And these, from my first two videos, do not do that. When the screen saver power function turns off these, the value ceases to exist. With these, that is different. So let me hook it up and I will show you. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. And then I'm going to, well, maybe harder to do than turn it off, change it a little bit. There you go. It's speeding up. We'll slow it down a little. You can hear it slowing down, and you see they're still off. That's because this brand of caliper, when the screen is off, it still sends the measurements through the data wires. Now, I also had, from my previous video, a bunch of people ask me about this. This is the voltage plus wire from the calipers. You don't need it. You don't need it for this. You can run it off the battery here. Now, if you're gonna do an extruder, that's probably not gonna be the best idea because it's gonna run for a long time and that battery may run down. So in that case, you would want to get a 1.5 volt voltage regulator 
and hook it up to this. But if you do that, be sure and take your battery out. Don't hook this wire up to a voltage regulator without taking the battery out because you'll, you'll pop that battery in there. And another thing you may notice, and I, I put this on the website, was I had a plug for these calipers. And even though these look identical other than the color, they're not. This plug up here is a different size. And it was just quicker for me to open this up and solder some wires in here than it was to go draw out another plug and uh, print it out on the 3D printer. And that's what you're seeing here. But to uh, be clear, you don't need this. You can get from the ground, the data, and the clock lines. You can get all the information you need into your Arduino using that code that I posted on the GitHub page. You can get all your data measurements and you never need the 1.5 volt wire. So just remember that. And one other thing to remember is do not set your motor close to your calipers because the motor is very noisy and I have found that if the motor is too close to the calipers it will start to produce erroneous values and that will cause your PID algorithm to go haywire. So remember don't make the mistakes I made um, I spent about two hours debugging that problem and when I picked the motor up and moved it, problem went away. So uh, keep your motor away from your calipers. And one last thing, some of you guys may recognize this if you watch Russ over at RWG Research. This is his board. He sent it to me to take over and figure out and unfortunately it arrived DOA. It had a bad voltage regulator on it. I replace a voltage regulator. Everything works fine, but the screen's dead. So what I'm going to do, and I was going to have to do this anyway, is I'm just going to start over from scratch using all of my optimized code and everything for the extruder project. So I did get this in from Russ. I've got his source code and I've got the, as you just saw, I've got the PID algorithm and the stepper motor working together and right now I'm working on the menu so stay tuned for that video coming up and also there are a bunch of projects that I'm fixing to do. More than I can count on one hand right now and I'm going to be very busy so I've got some really good videos coming up. I've opened up my swimming pool so I've got a pool project video that you guys are going to like. Mrs. Making Stuff has been shopping and dumpster diving and I have literally got over here on the other side of the shop a pile of future projects that just keep accumulating. So I'm going to knock some of those out. I've got some woodworking projects coming up. And if you like what you've seen, please give me the thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those awesome upcoming videos. And until next time, keep making stuff.